Well, we disagree with the abolition of the Agricultural Wages Board. The government's own figures show that it will take £240 million out of the pockets of workers over the next 10 years and go back. It, that money will go out of rural high streets, out of farm shops and into the pockets of their employers. So this is not a saving to the public purse. This is nothing to do with paying down the benef uh, deficit. This is everything to do um, with reducing people's um, pay at a time where generally wages are stagnating and inflation is going up. We're concerned about the method that the government is using and the way that they seem to be ignoring the Welsh Assembly Government. Uh, the AWB is a statutory body set up in primary legislation. We think it needs the agreement of the Welsh Assembly Government in order for, the, for it to be abolished. The Welsh Assembly Government does not agree and so we've got a bit of a constitutional issue going on uh, between both governments about whether or not um, the government can proceed in this way. What about the timing? I mean, is, is four weeks adequate for a consultation? It doesn't strike me that it's adequate when you're dealing with farm workers who often will not have access to the internet, who will often be, uh, who may have uh, English as a second language, who may be living um, in temporary accommodation or moving about between accommodation, and who crucially will not actually um, be in a trade union. It's a very low unionised uh, workforce. So we think it's it's a, it's too it's come too quickly, um, and the consultation itself um, reveals. The, you know the problems around people. Pe you know where will this money go? Um, if it's taken off the high street, we're going to see people, um, shops and pubs on the high street suffering as well, and that's not really taken into um, consideration. The NFU would say that the AWB is not really needed. That many farm workers receive rates uh, far in excess of the uh, agricultural minimum wage, and um, we also have a minimum, a national minimum wage. Why do you really think that the AWB should stay? Well, as I've said, it's very hard to, to get worker representation in, in if you're working on a farm, if you've come in, if you're a student or if you're um, fr from overseas. It's very hard to know what your rights are. People are unlikely to be aware of what the minimum wage is and so the wages that a farmer pays may be more than they would earn in their home country but still not the legal minimum. So people's awareness of their entitlements are likely to be low. It's likely to be a fragmented workforce, often people working in, in very small groups groups um, and so we think actually the AWB provides protection for people on farms. We want to see fairness across the supply chain right from the supermarkets through to the processors and the producers but that doesn't stop with the producers it has to go right down uh, to the people uh, who, who are working growing our food. If we want a one nation approach to farming then it has to be fair from the top right down to the bottom.